Greetings from St. Perpetua Community. A young swimmer hoped to qualify for the U.S. Olympic team. Months before the trials were set to take place, her parents and coach noticed a lack of progress in her performance. At first, they attributed it to the body changes that all teenagers go through and her wanting to spend more time with friends. Their concerns soon turned into criticism, and the young woman's training regressed and her hope sank. She began to work with a sports psychologist. Well, it soon became clear that her problem wasn't laziness or lack of enthusiasm or physical changes or even wanting a life outside the pool. The young athlete had simply encountered the proverbial wall that affects so many in competitive endeavors. That wall is called doubt. With the Olympics less than a year away, the young swimmer began to doubt her ability to compete at that level. Doubt led to a regression in her performance that was reinforced by the criticisms and expectations of her coaches and parents. The psychologist asked the young athlete to get a mental picture of the wall preventing her from making progress. The psychologist guided her in seeing herself scaling the wall, jumping down the other side and leaving it behind. The imagery helped her silence the negative thoughts she had of not being good enough and made it possible for her to see herself training hard to compete in the Olympics. After nearly half a year of dealing with the pandemic, looking in the mirror at that hairdo not of your own making, seeing the toes desperately in need of a pedicure, frustrated by the lack of freedom and mobility imposed on us, missing the close companionship of friends, despondent over the political tensions as the November election draws near, any one of us could be hitting the wall. We struggle to make sense of our lives and to understand how to keep going, we all need someone like that sports psychologist who helps us to visualize ourselves climbing over the wall and coming down on the other side. And we need to be that for one another. Certainly parents today need the strength to be cheerleaders for your kids, encouraging them, reassuring them that this time will pass, helping them find creative ways to stay positive and stick with the tasks at hand, especially education by Zoom and virtual learning. The author Anne Lamott urges us to keep going no matter what when she wrote, hope begins in the dark. The stubborn hope that if you just show up and try to do the right thing, the dawn will come. You wait and watch and work. You don't give up. It's good advice but not always easy to muster that kind of determination from our own resources. I believe that the inner strength we need comes from a source that's not of our own making. The prophet Isaiah wrote, Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Look to the Lord in hope, and you'll find an unfailing wellspring of energy and strength, enough for you and for the family and friends you're encouraging. And know that the Spirit of God is not outside yourself, but deep within.